Hey, today I'm reviewing Transformers Generations Skullgrin. Uh, he is a repaint of the Dark Mount mold, mold uh, only he's gray. And his weapons are black as opposed to gray. Uh, so, not really too much to say on this design, uh, being that he is a, just a straight repaint. Uh, if you like the original uh, Straxus mold, then no doubt you'll probably like this one as well. If if you're like me, though, you'll probably like this one a lot better because I absolutely didn't like the blue at all on the original Straxus mold. I like this gray a whole lot better, and I like this maroonish red that they've got going on as well. Um, but yeah, not really too much else to say. Uh, size comparisons, if you just need a size comparison. He's kind of on the small side, and it's kind of weird because he, he gives this presence of a, of, a, of a bigger tank, but he is really small. Um, here's Thunderwing in comparison, and Thunderwing, obviously wider, a lot taller. I can't even get him all into the frame. And uh, in terms of height, eh, maybe he's got some height on him, but not, not too much. Uh, but yeah, just a simple size comparison there. Uh, let's see. When I display this figure, I tend to keep him slightly different from Dark Mount, just by raising his turret. Uh, some people don't like this just because uh -oh, they uh, don't like the fact that there's a gap here that shows. I don't mind. I think, you know what, as long as it's just a little different so that, because I don't like it when I have two remolds standing side by side and they just look like exact repaints. I like having them a little bit different. And this is enough for me to make it seem like he's a whole different toy. So, with that said in mind, I'm going to transform now. Uh, won't go really too much through the transformation on this, just because you already know what the Strax's transformation is like at this point. Uh, he still is a very complicated figure to transform. Uh, I maintain the most complicated figure in the entire Generations line. Uh, but I... I think his transformation is definitely worth it when you are uh, done with it. Uh, we just gotta flip this back out. And there you gotta peek at his uh, ultimately changing factor, the head. Pop the heels. Arms. His arms has always been the heart. Oh damn! Look at that. It already popped off. Oh well. So we'll just make it a bit, a bit easier. But the arms I was about to say uh, was they're always the hardest part I found of this mold to try and squeeze out. Not pulling it out of this socket there, but trying to push it forward through here and not having it hit the treads. Uh, you kind of have to twist it around. But, I mean, once you know that, it gets easier. Then you can just... Did you fall off? No. You can just connect them back to make his backpack. Uh, oh, this should be up. There we go. Pull out his shoulder pads. And just give him back his accessories as needed. You could choose to put these wherever you want. Doesn't really matter. Uh oh. Uh, where'd this one I put? I usually put this here. Just have a display out here. Oh, look good. And then his axe, of course, just pull back down and turn around and you have his sort of pickaxe looking thing. And you can just put it in his hand and obviously, just like a Straxus, he can dual mount it, but I won't really display that. Alright, so there you go. There is Generations skull grin fully transformed and not fitting in the frame
All right, and straight away, the first thing you'll notice is his head. It is different. Uh, I'll bring it in just so you can see. It is a skull. Big surprise, right? Uh, it looks like a sort of cow skull. Uh, it's a very cool looking head. To tell you the truth though, as cool as it looks, I still like the original Strax's head better. But I guess in the context of this character, it looks very good. Um, what I'm going to do here is just bring in the original mold to compare. All right. And straight away, there are a couple differences in the paint scheme. Uh, I did note before that I hated Straxus's red uh, paint apps, how they were just simple triangles placed everywhere. I never liked that. I thought it was, it was cheap and it was inefficient, just not thoughtful, uncreative. I do like how Straxus has these different ones. He has these triangles, but they're just the outlines of triangles, and they're not completely connected. They have a little bit of separations. His feet don't look like cheap stickers plastered on. Uh, his hips, I don't know if you can notice, but they are this metallic gray finish as opposed to just straight up plastic. And I like the fact that his weapons are black. And same with his arms. Just his, his whole body is, is black and it seems like he has this gray armor all over. And then of course you come to his, oops, his axe here, which is white, like a bone white, matching his head. Uh, and I like that it's all just one uniform color, uh, unlike the Straxus mold where the tip was silver. Uh, so, I mean, to me, I, I do like this Straxus a lot. I mean, not Straxus, uh, Skullgrin a lot better. Uh, if I had to get one, again, Skullgrin would be the one to get, apart from the fact that I do love uh, this head a bit better, just a bit better. Um, it's, it's still, I, I just like the whole little blue devil look, but if I can only have the one figure, I would still choose Skullgrin, just because his colors look better and I, I think his paint apps look better. Uh, one last thing I'm going to do is, because again I don't like just having them look identical side by side, I tend to when I have them on display just flip this up. Uh, these shoulder pads come just a bit out like this, and then I fold these out here to sort of give him this sort of fake wing slash cape effect. Uh, I think it does, it makes him look a lot, a little bit different, uh, in conjunction with, with Straxus, and for me, it just makes him feel like he's a different figure. Um, but there you have it. Just my opinion on the Generation Skullgrin. And you know what? Go out and pick this one up because he's definitely worth it. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.